Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be dressing like I did in high school. So I dress like a lot of other people on my channel. I do a lot of style swaps where I try someone else's style, but now it's time to roast my own style. I started YouTube when I was 19. I'm now 23. So you guys missed out on a lot of the more questionable fashion choices from my teenage years. So let's just relive them and cringe together now. <laughs> make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday all about fashion and body positivity. I would love to have you here. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. I would be so happy if we hit it by the end of the year. That is like my ultimate goal. So if you want to be part of that, uh, do me a favor click that little button and you can turn notifications on too. Sometimes they actually work. So I went through my old hard drive that spanned from when I was in seventh grade through my senior year of high school and pulled some outfits that I thought would be fun to recreate that also kind of represented like different periods of my life in high school, different kind of like style phases that I went through. And I found this photo that was actually taken the day before I started high school, the day before my freshman year. I remember this day so clearly. I was getting my nails done with my mom and my friend Claire. We were talking about like what high school was actually gonna be like. And I was wearing this white button up tank top and a lacy Abercrombie like cami underneath. A bluish purple like vest sweater type thing. Really thick, chunky, woven brown belt and cuff low rise denim shorts and this shark tooth necklace that the boy that I liked in eighth grade gave to me in the summer. <laughs> I wore this exact outfit a lot. Like this was in my rotation and I always wore it with Ugg boots. Uggs with shorts was kind of my thing in high school. Like no one else wore it. It wasn't really like a trend. Like I could totally pretend it was just a California thing. Like everyone did it, but no, like that was just a me thing that I thought looked cute and all my friends made fun of me for it. I seriously rocked the Uggs with shorts look at least a few times a week from like eighth grade through junior year of high school. So even though I'm not wearing shoes in this photo because I was getting my nails done. I always wore brown low Ugg boots with this outfit and just Ugg boots with shorts all the time in general. So I'm going to do this day one. Let's see it. My friend Haley is over today. Haley, what do you think? Oh, it takes me back. Haley actually knew me in high school. I texted her about that I was going to be filming today while we're hanging out. She literally called the Uggs with shorts. And then we're meeting up with our friend Kenzie, who also knew me in high school. And she said the same freaking thing. It's like your actual signature. <laughs> <laughs> See, the Uggs with shorts thing ended at the end of my sophomore year, which is when I went to charter school. And I think it's been like a, a nice incline on my style game since then. But this was probably a low point. I'm already sweating because I'm wearing Uggs. I'm glad I'm at least in shorts though because it's giving me a little bit of room to breathe. So the shark tooth necklace for me, once I put this on, I felt like I had transported back to 2010 when I actually wore this look. So I've got the necklace. I've got the little Abercrombie lacy cami underneath. Nice uh, open purple vest. And then the thick woven belt and low waisted tight fitting uh, short shorts. So uh, let's go. Let's go uh, take on the world today. I am ready. I am rocking the shorts with Uggs. Before we go, definitely gonna need some deodorant on my thighs because these shorts are way too short. Also, I didn't know about any hacks for chub rub back then. You just dealt with it. You just wore short shorts and your thighs got chafed and you didn't talk about it and you pretended it didn't exist and now we have solutions. And also, back then, I wouldn't even tell anyone I got chub rub. Now I'm literally telling the internet. <laughs> This is my hack. Yeah, just wear jorts. <laughs> so we just got down over to the beach in the timeshare where we're hanging out today. And my friend Kenzie is here and her husband TJ. And they were both my really good friends in high school. So we'll see what their reaction is to this very cute outfit. What do you think of this blast from the past? <laughs> It was iconic, right? Like it, it wasn't a thing. It was just a me thing. The necklace. The, the shark tooth necklace. Do you remember who gave this to me? No. <laughs> this was before my first day of freshman year. It was, it was a look. Dude, what? I know. This belt is so thick. It didn't go through the loop. I had to just like rest it on top of my head. With the ugly, it's literally summer. It's like 80 degrees. I'm so sweaty. Oh, my mom's here. I should get her reaction too. What do you think of my outfit? What do you think I'm filming? Um, middle shorts. school Sierra. Hi, 
school. I have high school here. <laughs> okay, we are now over by the beach. I am here with my friend Kenzie and my friend Haley and my mom and Kenzie's husband TJ and Harlan who's sleeping right there and is so freaking cute. She's so big now. All right, so here's the thing with this outfit. Honestly, I'm still a fan of the Uggs with shorts look. I'm not gonna lie. I know everyone hates on it, but I'm a fan. I'm enjoying it. Kenzie's Snapchatting me. <laughs> Outfit gold. <laughs> fashion icon. Fashion icon. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm an influencer. I do fashion, can't you tell? <laughs> no, but seriously, the Uggs with shorts, I stand by it. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm a fan. My feet, toasty warm. Maybe not the best in August, because I'm a little sweaty, but come like September, October, maybe I want to let the thighs free. Maybe I want to wear some shorts, but maybe I don't want my feet to be cold. <laughs> The rest of the outfit I will, I will roast because it is not great. The shark tooth necklace is just, I think it's the cherry on top and the fact that it was literally from my middle school boyfriend is hysterical. The little like lacy Abercrombie cami sticking out underneath was like the look that everyone did back then. And then the vest is just so Midwestern mom. I honestly don't mind the low rise shorts as much as I thought. Like I thought I was gonna be really annoyed. I thought the chub rope was gonna bother me because they're so short and so like stretchy tight, but they're not that bad. Like the look maybe maybe not my best fashion uh, masterpiece maybe not the best ensemble but I actually feel pretty cute in it I'm not gonna lie except the vest the vest could go okay after we hung out at the pool I like changed out of my outfit went in my swimsuit and then just threw this on after but I kept the Uggs. I brought other shoes and I chose to wear the Uggs with these shorts. Different shorts than the ones from the video these are actually like a mid-rise so a lot more comfortable for me but still I made the choice to keep the Uggs with shorts and you know what? I know that no one likes it. I know that everyone thinks it's super dumb and yes, it is August and I was a little bit sweaty wearing them during the day, but wearing them in the evening has been wonderful. I feel summery in my little shorts, but I'm nice and cozy and warm from my Uggs. <laughs> also, I love that I'm still wearing the shark tooth necklace, but also like a Jaws shirt. That was completely unintentional, but very ironic. I'm here for it. I will say, I stand by that that outfit was pretty bad, but the one element that honestly is going back in my wardrobe from this video is Uggs with shorts, so get ready for it. So, uh, yeah, I've grown up a bit in the photo for day two. Can you tell I was going through my rebellious phase? I'm wearing a gray slouchy tee with a dream catcher on it, and thank goodness the low-rise fad had ended at this point. Anyone else who was born in, like, the mid-90s like me, I'm, I'm sure that we can all just commiserate together in how awful low-rise everything was. Thank goodness for high-rise. So these ones are distressed high-rise jeans from American Eagle. And the bottom part of my hair was permanently dyed blue, which I had done with box dye in Skylar's mom's bathroom. And I'm wearing a backwards trucker hat, which even though you can't see the front of the hat, it was from Hume Lake. I remember this hat so clearly. Shout out to all my fellow California church kids who also went to Hume Lake. This was senior year of high school. I had thrown my friend Corey's 18th birthday party at my parents' house, and yes, that is Skylar next to me. So Sky's gonna recreate her outfit too, and we're gonna go to my parents' house and see if we can recreate this picture. It is day two, and I am ready to go. Oh my gosh, does this outfit bring me back. First of all, let's start with the hair. So we have these like deep blue hair extensions, which I wish I would've bought more of. I only bought one set. So I put them on like the bottom half of my hair, which is where my blue hair was like the top was regular the bottom was blue but my actual blue hair when I had it covered the entire like bottom half of my hair so it was a lot more blue than this but hopefully it still gets the vision across then we have the backwards hat which I actually ordered from the Hume Lake website I was committed to recreating this look this isn't the exact Hume hat that I had but it's pretty similar it had like a compass on it dream catcher t-shirt so similar to the one that I had literally like gray it was kind of that loose fit I guess the one I had was was a little bit more boxy, but I'm just gonna kind of like scrunch it up to give that same look. The mid-rise distressed jeggings. This was kind of my everyday jean look when I was in my senior year of high school. Like I was done with low rise, but I hadn't quite gotten to like the super high rise jeans that I like now. And I loved distressed jeans. Now I'm not a big fan of them, but back then I was all about the distressing and we actually couldn't really see my shoes in the photo. We just saw that top little bit and it looked like I was wearing some sort of brown shoe. So I'm gonna, assume they were Uggs because I literally wore Uggs like every day in high school, even in the summer, even in the spring. I'm bringing back Uggs in general. Uggs with shorts, Uggs with jeans, Uggs with leggings. I'm all about the Ugg. <laughs> so I'm 
actually having a lot of fun with this look. I think I would consider dyeing the bottom part of my hair blue again. Like this is actually kind of fun. Skylar is gonna be here for work soon and she's gonna be wearing her outfit. And then me, Skylar, and Carly are all gonna go over to my parents' house and actually try to recreate that photo. We've got the red cups and everything. We ordered these on Amazon and they're like mini red cups, but it it'll get the point across. And actually my cousin Carter, who's been in a few of my videos, lives in my parents' basement now, like in the area where we had that party. It's just gonna be so fun to be back in these outfits, back in that basement. So let's go see if Skylar's here yet. Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, the Converse. I got them, my dirty, dirty white Converse. Oh They're back with a vengeance. <laughs> Just like your uh, are back. Look at, look at this. Mention. Okay, the only thing I messed up on is your hair was actually like a dark pink. It was like a maroon, yeah. dusty rose pink. Not like a hot pink. But you know what? <laughs> I love that. I figured it out. See, your outfit actually looks cute on you. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's definitely better than the cheetah girl. <laughs> right but I think it's because I picked it out, so it still works for my proportion. That's true. But also like, it's a lot. <laughs> I look like I'm ready to go do some like interpretive theater. Looking at us next to each other. <laughs> it is so much. Do you remember that night? Yes. D did we think we looked really hot? For sure. A hundred percent. Like we were, we put on these outfits and, and we were, were like, like this is it. This, this is, is our final four. This is for the party tonight. Like it's my Uggs and my Dreamcatcher shirt and my blue hair and my backwards hat are gonna make all the boys go wild. I love it. <laughs> But you know what, I feel the same way about the proportions. Like I still wear like, you know, tight fitting jaggings with like a looser fitting shirt. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, oh, I, I haven't told you yet. I'm bringing back the Uggs. <laughs> Not just Uggs with jeans like this. Like I wore Uggs with shorts yesterday and I actually loved it. I was telling Sierra the other day <laughs> that she like, she was one of the cooler people in theater. And so I feel like people would like emulate her trends. Like if Sierra started wearing like black V-necks, everyone started wearing black V-necks. No, no one, one did Uggs. <laughs> no one did Uggs with shorts. Or just Uggs. At all. At all. They're here to stay. Oh boy. Let's go. Let's go to my parents' house. Woo. All right, we are in my cousin Carter's humble abode in the basement where all the shenanigans used to happen in high school. This was like where we, like I had my 16th birthday party like down here. Like we would have sleepovers with all the theater kids at the end of a show, like down here. Carly's here to take the photo. Skylar's here all dressed up and we're gonna try to recreate it. So where this chair is, there used to be like a wine rack and I know the wine rack was showing, but the wine rack is not here anymore. So, so I'm on the left side. I'm closest to the wine rack. Yeah. You are on the other side. Where are cups? Um, I think I love them right there. I have my head tilted away from you and mouth holding open the and holding the cup. Okay. Yeah. And your knee is popped, but mine are straight. The other one's popped. This one? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Is my blue hair showing enough? Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. Hi, oh, freaking Woo! five. We did it. High five. <laughs> So weird to be dressed like this with the I think the blue hair is the weirdest part for me because yeah. that to me was like it was right after my breakup with my high school boyfriend mm -hmm. it was like single Sierra summer phase yeah. I had my blue hair for like six months yeah and that was a wild six months of my life <laughs> that was a wild six months this would have been in November because it was Corey's birthday so that mm -hmm. would have been like less than a month before I met Steven that's crazy and I did I have my blue hair when I, no, I had dyed it back when I met yeah. Steven. So I guess the lesson here is if you have blue hair and you want to dye it back to your normal color, you'll meet your husband. <laughs> like immediately. Wait, but that means if I want to go back to blue hair, I'm going to go through a wild girl phase again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this was fun. This was a blast from the past, especially recreating the photo and then being here in my parents' basement with the backwards hat and the blue hair and the freaking Uggs with the ripped jeans. I'm. I'm living. Also, my parents are doing construction behind me. So, outfit number three. This photo was from the summer going into my sophomore year of high school. Honestly, most of this outfit looks pretty normal. I've got a little white sweater with some blue stripes, little low rise, light wash denim shorts. Except for the dang fedora. Like, why? Teenage Sierra, why? It is so 
It is so bad. <laughs> like I actually remember, I remember this day. I remember getting dressed for the day, picking out this outfit, grabbing the black fedora and being like, yes, Sierra, like you look so cute. Like this is a look, like the boy you have a crush on, he's gonna just like fall to his knees because he's gonna fall in love with you because of your freaking fedora. Girl, bye. Day three, baby, let's do it. I'm ready to go. I look like Jason Mraz. <laughs> so torn about this outfit because there's really only three things going on here and two of them suck and one of them I really like. So it's like a suck sandwich. Fedora, awful. Sweater, love. Shorts, also awful. <laughs> so here's the thing, like the fedora, definitely wouldn't wear this today, but it's not like the worst. Like it's just a black little fedora. I look a little silly. I wouldn't say it's my style. You know what, back then I don't even think it was my style. I think I was just like trying to be different. Like I think I bought that fedora and maybe only wore it like two or three days. Like that day that I wore it, I was like trying to like break out of my bubble and like try different things. And like fedoras were maybe gonna be my new thing. And then I wore it that day and I was like, mm. But I remember feeling really cute when I left my house in this fedora. But currently, I wouldn't say I'm feeling it. It does make my hair look really cute though. I like the way my hair looks when I curl it and I wear a hat, but I don't necessarily like the fedora. The sweater is so cute and so comfy. It's lightweight, it's soft, it's pretty flattering. I really like this sweater. I'll totally keep this, totally rewear this. High School Sierra, good choice, good choice on this sweater. And then the shorts are just, I, uh, mm, nope. Not a fan. They're low rise and they're so short. There's actually a, a very small amount of fabric in these shorts and they're like that stretchy material. So they're not actually tight. I actually got these a size up and they are a little bit loose, but that doesn't stop the fact that they are like clinging to me because this material is just that like stretchy clingy material. And then they're low rise and they're already short and they just ride up. I've literally been wearing them for maybe five minutes and I've already been doing this dance just nonstop. <laughs> also yesterday I was going through an old box of my like middle school and high school stuff at my parents' house just to see if I had like any fun little gems to incorporate in this video. I found like a lot of old like essays and assignments, nothing really fun, except I found my old Game Boy SP and it has still my Pokemon Yellow game in it. And I tried to play it last night, but it's on red power. Now it's saying green power. Last night it said red power. I wasn't gonna play it because it said it didn't have any power left and I don't have a charger for this, but I did order one on Amazon after I found it. But now it says green power. Wait, can I play? Can I play? Okay, my old game is not saved. It just gives me new game options. So that's a little bit sad. I was hoping I'd still have my old squad. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. <laughs> People call me the Pokemon professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Yes, it is. Me and my fedora are gonna catch some moms. I'm so excited. Okay, I know what I'm doing today. I had a whole to-do list of things I had to do. I'm just gonna play this. Ooh, what should my name be? Let's make it Schultzy. What if this fedora is good luck? Because last night, hear me out. Last night, tried to play my Pokemon game. Red power, no fedora. Then I put on the fedora and oh, magically, green power. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> okay, so it is now a bit later in the day. Skylar and Carly are here in the background on their lunch break. I still have my SP in hand. We still have green power. The fedora's magic powers are still working, but I am a little bit worried about this dying and then me having not saved and then my charger from Amazon isn't here yet. So I think I'm gonna save and put it down and actually do the work that I have to do on my to-do list. And then when my charger gets here, I will take this with me on my trip to Europe next week and I'm gonna play this on the plane the entire time. I'm so excited. But as I clearly have forgotten, this day is not about my Pokemon SP. It is supposed to be about this outfit. And uh, my stance on the shorts is the same. Like they just really, really suck. They've been riding up all day. I feel like they give me the worst camel toe. Not a fan. Skylar and Carly, what do you guys think of the outfit? I told you, I think you look really cute. Really? I'm like, not a fan of the fedora, <laughs> but I feel like the sweater would actually be really cute for fall. And I feel like the shorts, like, I understand that they're low rise, so they're not your face, but with a longer t-shirt, you can't tell that they're low rise. Carly, what do you think? Carly's like a fashion icon. Everything she wears is so cute. Mm. Fedora, yes or no? 
<laughs> Skylar chose this photo, so she can't even blame me. It's not even my fault. You did this, Skylar. This was like right before our rebellious phase. This was senior year, but before the red cup photo from day two. We were so cute, like so cheesy and a little bit cringe, but so cute. So I am wearing crop yoga pants and hot pink flip flops with an aerial tank top from Hot Topic and a matching plastic crown. Yes, I wore a plastic crown to Disneyland. <laughs> and Skylar is in a pink v-neck, black crop yoga pants, silver flip flops, and silver sparkly Mickey ears. This was at the time where Skylar and I were both in an independent study program senior year. So we would always get our work done like at the beginning of the week. And then literally at least once a week, we would go to Disneyland because we didn't have anything else we had to do. We did all our schoolwork. It was a time. It was a time to be alive. Man, do I miss those days. <laughs> Except maybe not because high school was kind of rough. <laughs> also, we had bought these matching princess backpacks. Skylar's wearing hers in the photo. We got them at Target for like $8 and we would literally have all the princesses at Disneyland sign them and then wear them, the matching signed backpacks, every single time we went to Disneyland. Who's ready for Disney? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure how this was gonna work. Like this one, I didn't know if we were gonna put it on and be like, oh no, I can't believe we have to wear this at Disney all day. I love this. I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to say I love this. <laughs> like it's a lot of very bright, bold. I mean, my backpack, I don't know how to make it light up. I oh, love, it lights up. up. But also is like ripped because this is the actual backpack that we used back then. It's the actual backpack. Let's get a close up of those signatures. Hold on. We've got Donald Duck, Pluto, Mickey, um, is that Corella DeVille? So this isn't like our matching backpack, but I actually did buy this around the same time, also from <laughs> Toys R Us. This was just in my garage. I don't have my actual light up matching signed backpack, but this is from the same era and it matches my shirt. <laughs> so the one thing we're missing what? is we ordered you an aerial crown and we can't find it. So we're gonna go to Party City on our way to Disneyland and buy myself a blue tiara. <laughs> now there's one part about this outfit that I can't get over. And I think we're on the same page about this, so tell me if I'm wrong. But it's the, the shoes. The flip flops, right? How do we do it? We would like open Disney up and close it down in like the cheapest plastic flip flops. First of all, they're ugly. <laughs> like I'm just Agreed. gonna say it. Like your shirt, fun. Yeah. Like that's like a fun day. Yeah. These, when are they cute? Never. And they're just so uncomfortable. Like there's no arch support. In what world? Like I, I think I think we need to bring extra shoes. Oh, for sure. Otherwise, we're just going to be miserable. Yeah. Especially pregnant. Like yeah. I just there's no way. And we both are rocking our Fabletics <gasps> leggings because I'm now a Fabletics ambassador. <laughs> so, uh we are ready to hit Disneyland. But first, we got to get a tiara. Let's do it. <laughs> we found some crowns, but none of them are quite right. This one has like this kind of, uh, what what would you even call this? Tinsel? Tinsel, yeah, this like tinsel thing on it and it's a little too big. The one I was wearing in the photo was like just kind of like a little hair clip thing. Like it was kind of like this, but it was like two or three times the size. Like it was a little comb and I had just like brushed it back. It wasn't a full crown. We need like something in between these two. Like this is the first evolution, this is the third. We need the middle and we need it to be blue. We found it. This is like the perfect little second step. It is silver instead of blue, but you know, we'll take what we can get. And there's also five of them. So if I break one, I have backups. We're in our happy place. High school us loved Disney. Current us loves Disney. I'm sure future us will love Disney. Let's do it. I think we were right in front of that Y in the your. Cause look, right by your foot, you can see the Y. Yeah. So I think your like edge of your foot would be close to that Y. And then I'm on the outer side, leg closest to the camera is popped. Can we do it? Yes. Let's, let's do it. Are we gonna change into flip flops for it? Or? Oh yeah, I forgot we have to do that. Yes, of course. We brought the flip flops for a reason. <laughs> I prefer the fedora over the tiara for how it makes my hair look. Wow. Like, 
My curls looked cute coming out of the fedora. I'm surprised. I feel like you would love a princess thing. I do. I love that it's a tiara, but I just don't like the way it like puffs my hair up. Like I feel like I have like a snooky poof. <laughs> Maybe you should steal Carly's scrunchie and do like a half up and then put it in the half up. I'm let's let's try that. Hold on. I feel so pampered. Are you gonna make me into a princess fairy godmother? Oh, no. No, my dear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're right, you're making me into a queen. <laughs> okay, I think you were right, Skylar. This is the move. You left all my little curls in the front, but now I have less of a bump it and more of just like a little half up pony. So, I like this better. <laughs> I do this to myself. It's the last day. Whatever. Let's do it. I am going to recreate this zebra pink and black dress that I wore to my friend Maddie's bat mitzvah in eighth grade. So this wasn't actually in high school. Like I said, eighth grade. But when I was going through the old photos and I saw this dress, I could not resist. I have no idea where I'm going to wear this hot look this week, but oh, we're, we're doing it. You are way too good at your job. <laughs> the fact that you tracked down a zebra top, pink tie, and then like chiffon bottom dress in my current size is insane. I appreciate it. <laughs> like I kind of hate that you're so good at it because then I have to wear this. Like, like low key, it would have been better if you were like, you know what, Sierra, I just couldn't track it down. Like we're just not gonna be able to do this outfit for this video. People always comment and they're like, why does Skylar think everything's cute? Cause, but like, I think, she looks cute. I think it's objectively flattering. I can never trust your opinion again after this. Next time you tell me I look cute and I actually think I look cute, I'm just gonna think of this and and feel like I look like this. I kind of look like the top half kind of looks like a gymnast. Like I'm wearing like some sort of like sports bra with a leotard that's just like flattening me, but then it's also like, hello. I thought this was a homecoming dress at first when we were looking at the photos. Yeah. It's not homecoming. This was in middle school. This was for my friend Maddie's bat mitzvah, gotcha. which to this day is still the coolest party I've ever been to. Here's the thing. I thought it would be fun to wear this like to a bar or something to sing karaoke, but we don't have time to do that tonight because I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow and I still need to like pack and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna wear this around the office all day today. Mm -hmm. Like sit at my desk, do my work, and and then like we'll go run some errands, go to Starbucks, and so the, the public can see this beautiful dress. I'm excited. <laughs> Final touches real quick. We've got this little silver heart necklace and bright pink sunglasses. I remember me and my friends buying these, like our matching sunglasses at the mall and be like, oh yeah, like we'll wear these with our dresses. Our dresses were all from Windsor and and like, oh yeah, we're gonna look so cool. Like we're gonna look so cool rolling up to the bat mitzvah in these glasses. Also, I'm pretty sure the little silver heart necklace that I had was the necklace that my mom bought me when I got my period. Did anyone else's parents do that? I remember my mom was like, I'll get you a necklace so you have a memento and you remember you became a woman, you're becoming an adult, you got your period. I was 12. Did your mom do that? No, my mom <laughs> definitely did not get me a period present. <laughs> hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Oh, whoa. Oh. Getting in the car in this dress, you know what it made me think of? What? I remember me and my friends driving to the pot mitzvah in my friend Hannah's mom's car and playing. I was gonna say, you were old enough to drive. <laughs> definitely not. No, we were like 12. And I got a feeling by the Black Eyed Peas came on, and Ooh. we were like, this is our song for tonight. You know, like, Tonight's the night. It's Live it up. Be a good night. Yeah. And there's even one part in the song where they say Mazel Tov. And so we're like, yeah! It's perfect for the bat mitzvah. I know I can't play that song in the video because of copyright, but I want to play it just for me. Uh, so you know what, editor Rachel, could you just play some generic copyright free music as I jam out to I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas? Please. Put on middle school dress. 
it's been very windy today, so I've been holding my skirt down a lot. It makes me feel like Marilyn Monroe, but if she was like an awkward middle schooler going to a dance. Like, it's not like a sexy holding down my skirt. It's like a, oh no, I hope no one sees my underpants. It's been a weird day, but I, you know what? I've actually been enjoying wearing this because like I wear a lot of ugly things on my channel, right? Like I wear a lot of really, really questionable fashion items, but they're all because of someone else's fashion choices. Like, you know, it's an item from Fashion Nova or a weird outfit someone else put together. I am wearing this because 12 year old me thought it was a great look. <laughs> so I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments what your most questionable high school fashion choices were. I'm sure I'm gonna look back at the way I dress now in my 20s in like 10 years and be like, why did I wear that? Like, that is not cute. But you know what? That's the way fashion is. It's always changing. You're always figuring out what your actual style is and what actually makes you feel confident. And at the time, as, uh, as much as I side-eye my fashion choices from high school now, Back then, I really liked them and they made me feel really good. So rock whatever makes you feel confident, even if it's a fedora with Uggs and low rise shorts. It's all about how the clothes make you feel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, join the family, be confident, love your body, and I will see you next time. Bye.